Hello everyone. I just wanted to share uh, one of my favorite lessons that we just completed recently. And the lesson is level three, week 26 uh, numbers. And I just wanted to give everyone a peek into the level three. So of course we start out with the song and then we're gonna go, and the songs of course go big and small. And then um, this is their discussion photo. So what they're gonna do is they're going to discuss uh, the photo and it's really cool because we can add the discussion photo and I like it because it is moving. It's not a static image. So the students and you can really get a lot of things done together with like questions like, wow, what's happening? What is that? Is that long? Is it short? So it's kind of introducing the topic before we get there. Then this is a really funny story. It's phonics. It gives them the words and then gives them a cute story. And then we have the um, phonics. And what I do is I don't just have them say the phonics. I'm actually having them create sentences using the phonics and the images. So we're getting a lot of great uh, sentences and I'm also getting a lot of um, wonderful uh, feedback and wonderful sentences from them. This is phonics two. And when you have phonics one, phonics two, if you have a 50 minute lesson, take your time, do the first three uh, phonics and then skip the next two for the next lesson because when I have the 50 minute lessons, I like to break them up for the student and really take a lot of time extending. The more that you extend, the more they actually remember. If you're racing through it, then they're not gonna actually have it come back into their memory and having them use their own vocabulary through the extensions is a great way to getting them using their own language. And then there's another song to introduce the theme and then we're gonna go through the numbers and what I have level three do is they can go find the numbers, they can tell me uh, something as well using the numbers, like I have, the spider has six legs or you know, you can ask them what animal has six legs or what, you know, what do you have eight pens, eight crayons, get me eight books. So then we have these, they're automated and as you can see, they're popping up one by one. So this, when it's saying how many jets do you see, they can count them as they're coming onto the uh, board. And then again, how many cars, and they can count them as they appear. And you can see the, the S's are also um, in red so that we emphasize that they do say that S because they do miss that a lot. Um, and then, so this is language, that was the sentences and then they're going into vocabulary two, and then we're gonna go through the vocabulary sentences. I'm getting it a little faster now. Um, and then they have a break where they just stand up and have fun. Then we go into some reading with the story. And then as you can see again, more reading and more stories. So this is also extra. Uh, that you can ask and I like that the bus is moving so you can get like a lot of language about the scene It's not just the bus or it's not just the jet You can see that it's in the city. They can see the sidewalk the trees So you can get so much so many extension questions out of them and then they should read this by themselves from here on down then you have your goodbye song. Um, we also have the QR code for the homework. Then you just click that to go into the homework with them. And this is actually an assessment, so you can tell should they move on. Not just matching, but ask them to create sentences so they don't just say the words. And then we have all of the other ones that you can use. Uh, we have uh, one, two, three, four, five. So if you have two lessons, you can do matching pairs for one lesson, and then you can use an anagram or a word search for the next lesson. So I hope everyone enjoys this. This is just a look into level three, and this was one of my favorite to animate, and I like how I got them to pop up. So you have a great day. I will talk to you soon. Bye.